Hey, g'day everybody, it's Matt here from Matt Cav. So this week we're going to carve the outside of this really cool drawing by a subscriber of mine. His name is Mark Anthony, he's supplied us with this really, really cool drawing. So uh, last week I carved the inside, this week it's the outside. And I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on sort of like how to carve these Celtic designs that go under and over. And it's, uh, it's, it's quite complicated really, but I'm going to make it easy and give you some tips and tricks on how to choose the birds to do it as well so yeah stay tuned for that and uh let's get on with it okay here we go okay so that was last week's drawing this is this week's drawing the outside i had some little marks on the table so i could line that drawing up and here i am a bit of speed drawing for you okay there we go okay so here we go we're carving now and I'm using that little round diamond burr. And the, one of the biggest reasons why I'm using this is because I can't actually move the table. So I have to use a burr that I can use from one direction and carve every angle. So usually you might be carving on a block of wood that you can just spin around and carve uh, from any direction at all. And a lot of people use this burr here to get really, really nice lines in. Okay, so it's really important though not to get sort of like pigeonholed into thinking that one bird does it all. And so I experimented with all of those birds to get uh, lines and I just sort of like thought in the end uh, that diamond bird, the little round one, was the best one for the job. Whereas if I was carving on something that was very movable and the lines were a bit bigger, maybe I'd go for something else. So just keep an open mind when you're carving and choose a bird that's right for the job and just experiment in the first stages of those carvings that you're doing. So what I'm doing here is I'm just going in and I'm making areas of the carving quite deep. A market actually drawn on them black to make those ones he said make those the deepest so that's what i did and you'll see later on that i also make those the blackest to make them really really stand out okay so you can see in uh, all of these kind of like celtic designs there's a lot of unders and overs and uh, don't get them confused uh, they're all over the place so i went in with the diamond burr and i just marked the lines to start off with And I also, once I'd marked it in, I just sort of like even it out a little bit and sort of like blend it up into it with the diamond bear. It was a little bit tricky. I had a really, really light touch on it, but with those ball kind of ones, you gotta be careful not to push too hard or else you'll get indentations. So there I am and I'm sort of like, yeah, it's sort of, like, it's quite a tricky kind of thing to do it. Once you get sort of like in the flow of it, it kind of works. Depends on what kind of wood you have, how easy it is. So I'm just going around there doing all of those little ones. Okay, so for tidying up, I used this burr and it was really good. I could use that little point on the end just to get into that little area there. And the kind of flat plane of it sort of really smoothed out the tops of those things. But you could also use a sort of like a cone burr like this. You don't have one of those and just lightly go over it just to smooth out everything okay so for staining i put in the deepest parts of the carving this black stain it's an ebony stain and don't worry too much about the imperfections here because i put on a dark oak wax after this and it sort of like hides all those little painting imperfections just as long as you don't get dots or anything on the upper parts of the carving it won't really matter so here is the black wax it's called uh, with a I think the color of it is dark oak and yeah this is the one that I use all the time and it's a beautiful wax that makes things look antique -y. so let me know what you think in the comments and maybe let me know what I should carve on the table next okay See you later and thank you everybody for watching the video.